Hey, welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at a setup I did over the weekend for an outdoor event, and they wanted Wi-Fi for the event as well. Uh, so we used a lot of Unify gear. We used the UXG Pro. We used uh, Unify switches, Unify access points, uh, UISP devices, so nano stations. Had to get connectivity to remote locations. Uh, we also used Hostify to power UISP and Unify. Uh, so we'll look at what I did on the day uh, and, and some of the equipment that I used. So the first job is to get everything powered up. So what have we got? We've got um, we've got this massive mast here uh, with two sectors and a light beam AP, GPS. Uh, the two sectors have UAP AC mesh devices on them, uh, connected like a rocket M5 essentially, to the back of the sectors in the pigtails. Um, and we've got all the equipment in the back of the trailer here. Um, and what the show organizers have done is they've given us a what looks to bike be a 16 amp socket or just a 13 amp socket uh, on this blue connector here so we're going to get it converted to a three pin using a, an adapter and get everything plugged in to the back of the trailer with a starlink dish we're going to go on that gray pole there uh, and then we've got the everything powered up so we're going to do that now right so what have we actually got for our setup well as you can see here in this cabinet we've got a, a cyber power ups or an apc ups sorry Got a UXG Pro that's going to be connected back to a Starlink dish just behind me in a second. And this UXG Pro will be connected out to our Hostify uh, controller, which we'll show you a screenshot of in a few seconds. Um, we've got the Starlink router in here, uh, and the Starlink uh, dish is in bypass mode. So we're going to get the Starlink dish hooked up to the, uh, the pole and go from there. So the Starlink dish is mounted over there. Uh, it's going to boot up. That usually takes about 10 well, five, between five and ten minutes, it will sort of turn itself on and adjust the angle of the dish. So what we're going to do now is plug in all the cables for the UXG Pro and get everything powered on. So obviously on the mast we've got a light beam AP and that's 24 volts. So what we're going for is the US8150 watt switch. So that can do 24 volts and active PoE. And on the back of our UPS we've got um, these male kettle leads or IEC connectors so all we have to do is plug those into the back of the EPS and we get we get power for those devices which are pretty good so when I tore everything down the other day I'm plugged basically unplugged everything so I'm gonna plug in our switch unless our UPS is not complaining we've got power on the switch which is awesome Starlink is powered off the UPS the switch is powered off the UPS UXD is powered off the UPS that's pretty much all we need to plug in to the back of that we have got a mains power connection, but because we're so early, it's like 10 to seven in the morning, I'm feeding it already. Uh, we've got a Hyundai battery backup system, uh, sort of like a power pack that you'd use for a festival. Um, so we've got that plugged in temporarily until the mains power gets switched on. So when I set everything up the other day, port one is 24 volts. So what we're gonna do is take one, from the UXG Pro into the Ethernet adapter for the Starlink. That's going to get our internet up and running. I haven't seen the Starlink just move just yet, but if I look on the screen of the UXG, we should pick up an IP address hopefully. So that's not negotiating just yet. So the UPS is actually on. Nothing on the WAN side yet. I guess the Starlink's still booting. So that's fine, we can carry on. So we've got port 8 into the LAN side of our UXG Pro. This cable's a bit short, but there we go. That's doing its thing, so that's good. And then we've got a bunch of cables going up to the, the mast up there uh, for all of our different devices. I'm going to plug all those in now. And stupidly, I never labelled which one was 24 volts and which one wasn't. So what I'm going to do is plug them all into port 2, 3, and 4. And whichever one doesn't pick up automatic PoE is the my light beam. Next time I'll label them. So yeah, port two and three are our APs. Port one is going to be our light beam, so that's taking 24 volts. Starlink dish has now moved. We've got still no negotiation on our WAN side, unfortunately. It's a bit strange. We do have two devices, two Starlink dishes. One was one was in bypass mode, one was not. So what I'm going to do is replace that with our other Starlink dish because I don't think this is the one that's in bypass mode. And I think if it's not, I think it doesn't enable the, the uh, Ethernet adapter. So I'm going to change that out. I spoke too soon. So I just moved my camera back into place. The Ethernet cable was not plugged in correctly. 
explain the install it. Don't be an amateur, basically. So if we go onto, yeah, we've got a one IP address now. So if I go onto my Unify controller, Hostify controller, I can now see I've got the UXG Pro up and running. The trailer switch and the two sectors are now up and running, which is awesome. So we actually got internet off the solar of the Starlink. Uh, the two sectors are broadcasting wirelessly. So I've got a few devices connected. My phone being one of them. So we've got our devices set up, and there are some. Yeah, I've got admin set up. One on top of my watch and different things. We've got two sectors up and running now. And right, let's go and get the rest of the park up and running. Some of these stations used a nanostation AC and a UAP AC mesh combined with a 2 GHz Omni to broadcast coverage in a large area. Then a few of the others used a UAP AC mesh pro and a nanostation AC to get connectivity back to the main mast. Okay, that's been a look at a Wi-Fi setup that I did over the weekend. Hopefully that's been an enjoyable video. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at Hostify.com. They're hosting for UISP, Unify and TP-Link Armada. Check out Hostify Pro at Hostify.com forward slash pro and you can hire an expert to help your project today if you need any help with unify and tp-link devices contact our team at support at hostify.com and they'll be sure to give you a hand follow us on twitter at hostify underscore net thanks for watching this video my name is alex and we'll see you again next time